This is a streaming PC. I'm gonna go ahead and show you clips right now of me streaming off of this using a capture card and a webcam and even a microphone all plugged in to the Steam Deck and it did great. 1080p 30, I didn't even push to 60, but I'm sure it could. 1080p 30 stream on a capture card, everything looked great. I'm gonna show you how I did it in this video, show you how I did all the setup, and if you want more in-depth streaming tutorial on this, comment below, but let's get into this video. Oh, and before that, let me tell you about a word from our sponsor, me. DarkenedCyrus.com. Over at my new website, you can actually find ways to be able to connect with me. You jump into a coaching call and book one-on-ones with me, or if you're local to me, be able to bring me in to do video editing for your business. If you're a content creator looking for an editor right now, I'm currently taking on clients. So please make sure you reach out to me on my website and we can connect on how I can be the next solution for you. All right, so the Steam Deck is something that I picked up used from someone and I was really impressed with how it ran and then I thought well it's just Linux right and capture cards like the Elgato HD 60s uh, don't necessarily work well on Linux so could I get a stream to work let me show you my setup oh it made a beepy sound at me <laughs> <laughs> so I'm in the corner of this screen, but right here is actually this dock, and this dock is from Repel. I'll go ahead and show some B-roll of this. On the back, it actually has an HDMI connection, as well as four USB 3 ports, and all of that, just easily drop this on the dock, take the USB-C connector, connect it. It says it's just made a beepy sound, it's connected, and then it should pop up right there. Oh, and just a side note, because I know someone will ask, I was doing this not on Windows or anything. This is still just Steam OS, and I just went into desktop mode. Uh, yeah, no other crazy installs. This is what you could do with your Steam Deck out of box. So yeah, I figured somebody was gonna ask in the comments, is that Windows? No, this is stock. And as you can see right now, I'm actually connected with my Xbox, and as it's connected here, it's absolutely crazy. All of this is running through the back of this dock, and it's also running off this webcam. This is the Neuroam V21 webcam, and I'll go ahead and show you what I really like about this webcam is it's really wide. You're looking at a Sony 11 millimeter APS-C lens on an FX30 right now, and this is almost just as wide as this lens, uh, and I'm actually really close to it. I'm touching the lens now, like barely extended. But anyway, I'm really impressed with how this worked. Um, and then also, I'll turn you this way, for microphone tucked away, way up here, this is actually, uh, this is the Comica. Uh, microphone that I covered not too long ago. I didn't think it was like the best mic in the world, but for what I needed in this and I wanted something white, uh, this was a really cool setup. And then just some HyperCloud 2s plugged into the back of this. And what I did was just route all of the audio to that headset, including the capture card. Like I, all of the capture card audio was routed to this. I'm trying to fix this tripod, sorry. So I, what I did was actually set up pass through for the capture card audio and send it through. Now here's where people might be like, well, how did you play the game and everything? You know, how did that work? Well, here's what happened. Back over here at this angle, we actually have the Mirabox capture card, this 4K pass through capture card. I reviewed this thing like two years ago and I still <laughs> have it here today. But what it does is allow you to do pass through, but I don't have pass through. What I did on screen, I'll turn it this way, you can see the screen. You can see me right now, you can see the browser overlay right here, my chat comes in right here. I literally just right clicked, full screen, and full screened the TV, the projector, right? So then when I was watching the game, and here's where my game is for the game capture, I could actually see myself in the bottom corner, right? My chat was right there, and I could play the game here. So I'm able to sit here and play. I was playing Destiny 1 the other day, actually, which was pretty awesome going back and playing Destiny 1. Uh, but anyway, that stream was really cool. But what was really neat about it was I was able to play the game, see my chat on screen, as well as be able to see myself and see what was happening over here. And then all I had to do was, oh, by the way, this is like a, I don't know why I'm showing that. By the way, this is like a uh, little awesome, like mini keyboard that's wireless, it connects by a USB dongle. Really cool, easy to set up. Anyway, so all of this was easy to do, setting it up like that, but I could play the game, 
see my chat, see my alerts pop up on screen, and just be able to communicate. All because I just did a full screen of the actual capture window. And how you do that is just by right clicking and it says full screen projector and then by clicking on it for it to go full screen. Is this the perfect solution? I don't think so. But is it a solution that some of you who have a Steam Deck who need a streaming PC totally could do? Uh, yeah. Um, I'm probably gonna make another video specifically on how I did the setup with this, what my streaming settings were, but I'll go ahead and tell you a couple of things. Number one, I had to do X264 encoding, and I did 6,000 bit rate, and I did, uh, I think it was the ultra fast preset, and I wasn't even using like 50% of the CPU at all during this entire test. I probably could have bumped it to fastest or even faster for the encoding preset, but as you see as the footage on the screen, it actually looked pretty good for what it was. I was streaming on 1080p on Twitch with no no issues at all. So if I was going to do this whole thing again, I would probably do exactly what I just did. I would probably play to the screen just like this so I could see chat and my video and kind of enjoy it that way. Two problems that you need to know with this setup. Number one, since you're playing with a capture card, there's going to be some latency. And so I was able to tell playing a first person shooter that it was just a little behind. So if you do run an HDMI out and do pass through, you can while this is set up like this, you can make the Steam Deck screen stay on and you could put chat on that. I just turned the screen off because I wanted to try this method, but you totally could do that and put your OBS on this screen and it'd be a two screen setup. The other thing that you could do is be able to just play and stream directly from the Steam Deck and maybe have a USB dongle that's not a dock. I have one, give me a second. I have one of those, which is right here. This one's from Moken. Um, but anyway, it is a USB-C. I use it for my MacBook all the time. But if I break my eyes, you can see it use HDMI. There's a USB-C full port as well as a power delivery port. And then on the other side, it has two USB 3s and a USB 2. So you could have used this as a capture and not had to have a dock. And you could stream anywhere anything really. So yeah, make sure you check the description for a link to any of the items we discussed today. Make sure you pick them up. They help me out through an Amazon affiliate link. And even check out my website if you need to pick up any services. Click any of the videos on the screen of old reviews of the stuff that we are talking about today. And uh, yeah, we'll see you over in one of those videos. Bye-bye! I've been sitting on my knees doing this for a view. Oh, I'm tired. Ugh.